our, our process is, you know, nearly big data at the you know, top of the funnel. And we are taking, you know, five, six, seven large scale data sets in any given market, um, sort of overlapping and combining those so that we can get, you know, property address, unit count, a little bit of information about a property and who the owner is for each individual property running it through a, you know, a handful of third party, um, you know, vendors and kind of technology solutions to get contact information. Um, and then we're leveraging a host of uh, vendors for cold calls, emails, um, mailers, really any medium that you can imagine um, that a potential owner might have, we contact them, um, you know, through that medium. And uh, then we have a, you know, a, a CRM that kicks out those potentially motivated leads to our acquisitions analysts. And they really are the only people talking to these sellers. Every once in a while, you, know, you get somebody who's entertaining an offer, saw one of our mailers, wanted to learn more and see what the price was. Uh, but for the most part, you know, we're contacting people that hadn't thought about this property for a while, um, maybe they missed a tax payment on it just because they weren't, you know, they didn't remember to pay it. It's a drag for them. They don't want to hire a manager. They don't know anything about real estate. It's one of at most two or three properties that they own. Um, and they're very happy to, um, you know, get it off their hands. And um, we are all about, you know, building that one on one communication with a seller and bringing it to close. And that's what, you know, the, the folks that sit with, you know, with me here in New York, that's what they do. That's what they're trained to do is, um, is take that off market lead and bring it to close. And it's a really, it's a win, win, win situation because we get a fantastic deal. This seller who, for whatever reason, you know, doesn't think to, or doesn't want to go to a broker, you know, maybe they're embarrassed about the property. Maybe, um, they, you know, maybe they hadn't thought about it for a while, so it, it hadn't occurred to them to sell it, whatever it is, they get something off their plate and they get, you know, a nice check to walk away from, or they get to, you know, clear out a mortgage. And then the community has a massive, um, improvement because we take that property that might've been partially vacant. Um, we renovate it up to really you know, top of market standards. And I can talk a little bit about, you know, what that, what that specifically looks like. And uh, then, you know, we've got, you know, kind of the next generation of renters um, moving in. So we're really recycling a lot of these unused or underutilized units in really awesome neighborhoods of these, you know, tier two cities. And there's a mission factor to it as well. Being a Midwesterner, I really like to see that, um, and see some of those awesome historical neighborhoods kind of brought back to life. Um, but, you know, those are the, the three wins, the seller, the buyer, and the community.